Okay, the issue today is that the the windscreen washer reservoir on a Mazda 2 2008 is leaking. So So here here is the filler cap for the reservoir. Now as soon as I put water in there it drains straight out. So I don't know why but we're going to have a, a look at that. Okay so the the uh, the reservoir is obviously in here directly in there. So to get at it we are going to jack the car up and then remove one of the wheels and that will give us good access to the reservoir. The jacking point that I've chosen is just in here. There, you can see it there. There is a major structural bolt coming down from the chassis and that will be strong enough to put the jack on. Once I've got the jack in place I'm going to take some of the weight off the off the wheel but leaving enough weight on the wheel to enable me to undo those nuts. With a with a wheel spinner. Okay, we've got the tire off. So there's plenty of plenty of access space in here. <clears throat> okay, so so here's the reservoir here. I can't see any obvious damage. I can get better access if I remove this panel here, which is, uh, it looks like just, just a couple of screws like, like this one here, this one here. These are the fasteners that, that hold that thin plastic guard in place. So these uh, steel ones are easy enough to get out. These plastic ones are really desi designed to be disposable. You can see this one's broken. This one did come out correctly. Okay, so having undone these these screws here and here 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 we can now push this 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 panel back which which gives us access to the reservoir here it is so we've got two pipes flexible pipes coming off the reservoir we've got here's the pump here, there's the pump body, there's the pump connection, the wires. Now the pump sits into the reservoir there, so good access to it. And the reservoir appears to be fastened by a bolt here and, uh, and this bolt here. So now I have to put some water in to the reservoir to see where it's, the water's leaking out. Alright, so we can now see where the water is leaking out. It's leaking out at the bottom fitting of the, the pump, which was not where I thought it would be. 
I thought it might be where the pump joins the reservoir. Okay. Okay, so, oops. So here you can see that I've pulled the two hoses off the outlet of the pump and the water is draining out. Now, uh, to get the to get the electric wires off the pump, you have to dip, depress a little clip. So I'll show you. So that's the clip there at the top, and you have to push that down. It's on a little rocker. There's the other side of it, just in there. And if you press that down, you can see it moving. That will release and then you can pull the wire plug off. So that's what you want. Now I'm going to undo the holding screws there and the other one that's up there. I've taken the fastening bolt out of this corner up here, it's a bit hard to see. I've taken another fastening bolt out of this corner here, this one. I've I've prized the the tubes. Here they are. I've prized them out of their grooves which are here. I've disconnected the pump but the the pump wire is still held in here. Hmm. I've got to get that out. Otherwise, as you can see, the reservoir seems to be free. Now I've got that I've got that wire released. The clip is made for easy assembly. That makes it cheap for Master to assemble the car. But it's not made for easy disassembly and as you can see part of the clip has broken. Now I have un undone the, the reservoir holding bolts there and up here and I've tried to remove it but I can't. It's, uh, it's stuck in place by this light here and by the headlight up here. So I've got no choice but to try and remove, as you can see that's the wire for the pump try and remove the, the leaking junction from the pump itself. There's the pump. There's the leaking junction there. So I'm going to try and remove that but just by pulling it backwards. Okay. So that came off surprisingly easily. And now the, the leak is... It, exactly where my finger's tapping, where that that bit there joins that bit there. I've examined this fitting. I'm not sure what it does, but there don't appear to be any cracks in it. That was what I was looking for. So I presume the leak is just a an aging effect on the plastic. As as we saw earlier, the the leak seemed to be coming 
between the pump, right, here's the pump, and the, the two-way junction seems to be just a splitter. Uh, let's see if I can get the focus a bit better here. Ah, uh, that's better. Now, I tried a couple of different ways to fix the fix the leak. Firstly, I, I just took that splitter off and cleaned it and put it back and tested it and that didn't work. Uh, it was still leaking. So then I took it off and I heated the the splitter, that's the the female part, with a hair dryer. So it softened the plastic a bit and then I pushed it back over the hard nozzles that's a male part of the pump and then I tested it and that didn't work either so this time I've I've smeared it with some uh, polyethylene glue and I'm now waiting to see whether uh, that will fix it but I'll wait I'll wait now before I test it assembly is simply a reversal of the dismantling procedure however as we saw these plastic fasteners break very easily and uh, you've got to take out three or four of them at least to to get that to get access to the tank now what you need to do is you need to buy a few of these before you do the job not after and I measured this one across the diameter here it's there we are it's not that you can see it very well trying to get better focus here yeah there you can see it 8 millimeter now I ended up using glue which <coughs> I ended up using glue which is not ideal uh, and here it is you can see it there and uh, it, at least it works at least it works for the time being so that's the end of the video and I'll see you on the next one thanks for watching